now where were we? Back into our secondary column. Text muted. Does that look muted? That text does not look muted. Muted text, because it's wrong. It's not. It should be text muted, not muted text. Dash muted. Oh, I'm sure we're coming up on an hour. I'm sure this video has passed an hour at this point. Now it's basically if you want to hang out with me and like listen to me talk at a computer alone, this is the place to be. Other than that, I think you've kind of got the idea, but you might still learn a few things. But now this is just officially a hangout session and we are chilling. I need a drink of water. My throat is so raspy. The next section is another article. I'm glad I started putting these things in articles. It really helps me to kind of mentally close off them. And I don't have a HR after it. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll do HR. And then, um, okay, now we have another one of these guys, these small dark titles inside of the article. So I'm gonna look at the next objects that are inside this column and I'm seeing this kind of, uh, it looks like a date and an explanation of like, maybe it's like a concert or not concert, but like a, you know, save the date or a calendar object, I guess is what I'm thinking. Now, um, Bootstrap has a really good pattern for that and it's called a media object. Media object basically just means that there's a piece of media, it's like an image or it could be a video or anything. And then to the uh, left or right of it, depending on how you set it up, there's the text explaining. It actually looks exactly like this. And if we go to Bootstrap, there is the media object here. I'm just gonna grab this HTML yonder and plug it right in like so. Like so. <clears throat> just for kicks, let's save it and see if we get an error. Yeah, we do get an error. The thing we can do with with uh, Jade is get just start stripping off the unnecessary uh, markup that's not needed here. I don't need these trailing. Oops, hitting. I don't need these trailing tags. Uh, this H4 class of media heading. <clears throat> it just needs a dot in front of it and a space after it. Yep, like that, and get rid of that bit. And then there's a class called media body. And then get rid of this anchor tag, uh, <clears throat> this attribute of the image can be in a paren, and then mm, that looks really good actually. And then the anchor tag gets a class of media left, and the paren for the href, get rid of this first dilly dally, and <clears throat> uh, looks like we have a div, the class of media, which means you just write dot media. Now they're all children of dot media, and the image is a child of the anchor, and the h4 is a child of the media body, and then there's also like a paragraph here that's a child of that. So let's see how we did. Jade intro. Cool, that's a little long on my lorem. Do you even lorem, bro? Let's get rid of some of that. And then let's take uh, for the source, what is it called? HTTP uh, placehold dot it slash, oh, is it like 60x60 or 60 by something like that? Did I do it right? Oh yeah, I did it right, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. <clears throat> okay, um, now also Bootstrap has some interesting um, helper classes, images right here. I wanna make this this circle here. So I just put a class of img-circle on that placeholder. Then we get a fancy, Never mind. we do not. What did I just do? Oh, I didn't write image, I wrote image. There we are, <clears throat> that looks fun. I know that's not in our wireframe, but you know, hey, we can take license, we can take liberties here. And also I'm not messing with these numbers because I just don't care. Just worrying about the grid. So 
No, we need like four of these. <clears throat> we could, hey, you know what we could do? We could take these and put them in a mix-in called mix in media object. And there it is. Got to get the nesting right. And then uh, I'm going to go back into my columns here and write <clears throat> plus media object Object, and then just do that like four times. Did that work? Yeah, that worked four times. But here's the thing: like with media objects, you can do like with these with these mixins. I'm gonna show you some cool mixin junk right now. With the mixins, I could say right. Oh, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Is it a dollar? Is it? No, it's just okay. So with a mix in, I could just say title right here, and then where the media heading is, I would write pound two curlies, and then write title. And and this pound and two curlies is not Jade. It's just called escaping. So I'm escaping a variable, and it's not a, how a Jade variable works. It, it, I mean, that would happen in SAS too. It's just escaping the variable, meaning I'm identifying it as a variable and not as a string of text, right? So we have a title in there, and then on these, where are you? Secondary column here. We're gonna say, um, <clears throat> hey, hey there, and then this one is gonna be called uh, "I Love Spider Man," and this one is called oh, I capital I because it's, it's me. Um, your mom said, "What up?" And uh, and uh, I know you from somewhere. No, that's too long. I know you. There you go. Ooh, did I do this wrong? Oh, I think I need to be in in uh, quotes. The, so the 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 thing that gets passed to the variable needs to be a string that needs passed in the variable needs to be treated like a string. In other words, put it in quotes. So we did that. Now all of our medias have titles. Now that's not that has nothing to do with Bootstrap Grid. It's just like this fun thing. I'm learning Jade, and you're learning Jade. We're both learning Jade, and we're just we're Jade it up, man.